Hello world, I'm Alan, and in this video, we're going to build a Minecraft spinner robot. The bot turns in circles, placing lighter dart blocks on each rotation. We'll be programming the bot with the CC Tweak mod. There's details on how to install it, along with code samples and a getting started guide below. This is the bot we'll be working with. We'll start by getting it spinning. In our code editor, let's create a new file called spinner.lua. For our first lines of code, let's add a while loop with a turn right command inside it. When we run the command, the bot starts spinning in circles. Since while loops keep running as long as the values they're testing are true, and the value we're using itself is nothing but true, this code will keep running until something else stops it. In our case, that would either be us logging out of the game or clicking this terminate button. Let's add some frog lights to the inventory and update the code to place them after each turn. When we run the program, the bot places our initial lights and then continues to spin without making any other changes. It's still trying to place blocks, but it can't since there's already something there. To fix that, let's add code to remove the frog lights. I'm going to put this dig command in front of the place statement to make sure we clear a block before trying to place the next one. Here's what it looks like when we run it. Let's add some black concrete to our inventory. During each turn, we'll need to identify the slot where we should collect the blocks we dig and which slot to use for placing. We'll do that with two new variables at the top of the file, dig slot and place slot. We'll set the initial values to one and two respectively. Next, we'll switch to those slot numbers when we dig and place the blocks in our loop. Starting the script, we see this will work the first time through because we already have the frog lights down. But after that, it will only dig and place the concrete blocks because we're not updating the slot variables. Our next step is to count the number of turns the bot's made. Once it's done four, we want to flip the slot so the concrete slot is selected during the dig and the frog light slot is selected during the place. Let's start a new run with a frog lights in place. They'll be replaced with concrete and then the next spin, the concrete gets swapped back for the frog lights. That's as far as the switching goes though, since we're only doing one change in our if statement. We need to add this else statement that changes the dig slot and place slot variables back again. With that in place, our bot's fully set up. When we run it, it'll keep spinning with the blocks swapping on every rotation until something else stops it. And that's it, we've got our spinner robot. It's not super practical, but I like it as a nice decoration. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe and check out the rest of the channel for other Minecraft programming projects. Until next time, be kind and take care.